from unilaterally claiming Indian territory to appropriating Indian religious icons and Indian religious gods. Nepal has escalated tensions with India over the last few weeks. While on the surface it may look like a diplomatic conflict between India and Nepal, a closer look reveals that China may have been the catalyst behind all of this. Now, how Yan Chi, the Chinese ambassador to Kathmandu, has come under fire for trying to influence the country's hand in several domestic and foreign policy issues. But now the Chinese ambassador has rubbished these claims, saying that some forces are just trying to pull China into the Indo-Nepal conflict. Now, the Chinese ambassador has said, and I quote her here, I have noticed that whenever problems arise in relations between India and Nepal, there are always some forces that try to pull China into it. They create something out of nothing and make rumours. Now this was the Chinese ambassador responding to a question on Beijing's role in the Kalapani conflict. Now Hao Yanchi has also reiterated that the issue of Kalapani was a conflict between India and Nepal and that the Chinese side has always respected the sovereignty and territorial integrity of both India and Nepal. It all began with Nepal revealing a map through a constitutional amendment through which it incorporated three Indian territories as part of Nepalese territory. The map depicts areas of Lipu Lake, Kalapani and Limpyadhura, which quite clearly belong to India as part of Nepalese territories. The many believe that, believe that China is behind this new anti-India rhetoric by Nepal. Reports also suggest that Yan Chi was the actual architect behind the new map. According to intelligence sources in New Delhi, the Chinese envoy has been a frequent guest at Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli's office and also residence in the weeks leading up to this change. The Nepalese delegation, which was instrumental in drafting the map bill, is also said to have been in touch with the Chinese ambassador. And not just that, the Chinese envoy has also faced intense backlash for her role in Nepal's domestic politics. In a bid to keep the Nepalese Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli in office, Yan Chi is said to have held meetings with all major stakeholders in the government. And these meetings had sparked huge outrage in Nepal. They were seen as Chinese interference in Nepal's domestic matters, while Han Chi has defended her presence as nothing more than cooperation between two friendly nations. Now, the Chinese envoy's growing role now reflects Beijing's increased presence in Nepal.